okay so what i'll be doing is uh, just have a look every one year i'll solve the same problem which i did in the last class i just i'm just inserting one more new sheet here in order to insert a new sheet what you are supposed to do you have to just right click here insert it okay and in the previous class i have discussed about how to do sheet setup okay so you have to select a4 sheet on the one which you are working and you have to turn this background off and save it to defaults so that whenever you add your new sheets okay so default by default it will be a4 sheet only okay if you don't save it as default so whenever you add a new sheet it will not be a4 size okay again it will be a2 size which is which is the default for the software okay you have to save a4 says as a default, then only when you insert your new seed. So by default, it will be a4 seed only. What was the question? Let me just uh, come here. What was the question? Which we discussed in the last class about uh, side view problem on projection of points. Let me solve that same one here using the software. What was the question? A point A 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of PP. Draw the draw all three views. Okay. So let me just uh, first you have to take your line, check the properties whether it should be a continuous line. Check with the thickness. Now first thing is you'll be drawing an XY line. Okay. What should be the thickness of XY line? So it should be a thin line. Its thickness should be 0.05 okay 0 0.05 let me just draw an xy line from one end to the other end by just clicking here okay then just right click then you just go here and in order to write the text in order to write the text let me just uh, use magnifier so that things will be visible to you Come here, lens. Yeah, just minimize this. Now you can see it. You have to go here, select this text. Let me just fit it to the screen. And here, write down X and Y. Here, your reference line X and Y. Reference line X and Y. After that, let me just write down here at the right side vertical plane and horizontal plane. Why I'm writing this vertical plane above and the horizontal plane below? Because we are drawing the projection of point with respect to first quadrant. Okay, so it's better you write vertical plane and horizontal plane. After that, let me just draw one more reference line which is called as x1, y1 line over here. And this thickness also should be 0 0.05. Let me come to text. Come here and write x1, y1 here. Okay. X1 and y1. So after this, let me take a line and check the thickness. It should be 0 0.05. And over here, let me draw the front view, which is at a distance of 30 mm above x, y line. Just uh, type 30 in length here. Okay. And just press tab. If you see, if you press tab, it will move from length to angle. Okay, again, if you press tab, it will come somewhere else. Go on pressing the tabs, you can see. It is moving, see. You can just see here. It is moving. Okay, now it has moved here. The cursor has moved here. Now see, it is moving. Like this, it will move. If you press, go on pressing tab. Okay. And let me put the angle as 90 degrees and enter. Okay. After this, once you draw this, next step, let us go to smart dimension or to place the dimension just you know if you have if you want to place a dimension for a single element you have to use smart dimension 
you want to place a dimension for dimension between the elements okay for example if i want this distance between this to this line i cannot use my dimension okay so dimension so a single element you can just see a description of the smart dimension dimensions a single element or dimensions the distance or angle between elements so you have to have distance between you have to select this you want distance from this end to this end you have to use this command distance between okay distance between you have to give the distance and press enter as of now this is not important for us okay you have drawn this let us take smart dimension select this and place the dimension on the right side right hand side why i'm placing it on right hand side not on left hand side because we will be drawing your uh, uh, right side view over here on left profile plane that's why i'm placing the dimension on right hand side okay so once you place the dimension it's very important for you to place the point okay which should be clearly visible to you when your printout is taken okay so in order to take a point you have to go here click on point here click on point and i cannot place a point directly first i have to check with the thickness of a point okay what should be the thickness of a point what should be the thickness of the point it should be 2 mm enter 2 in width press enter and just place it here okay you can just see a point is placed okay here it might be visible small but when you take a printout of this it will be clearly visible to you okay if you take a very small one see it's hardly visible if i place it on this it will hardly visible okay hardly visible i'll just go here and just drag a box using left mouse button okay both are selected and let me just delete yeah they will get deleted so after this let us draw the top view so before drawing the top view you have to name the front view okay front view take this uh, text command place your cursor here how will you name the front view a dash okay now draw the top view which is at a distance of 20 mm just check the properties it should be 0 0.05 your projection line so distance length is 20 angle is minus 90 and press enter and then right click so after you right click place a point here place a point thickness 2 mm okay place a point then use smart dimension and place this here okay press this here. okay don't change the value okay just press enter that's it okay so this you have drawn front view and top view let me just name the top view which is denoted by small a okay small a Okay. Now we'll draw the side view. We'll draw the side view using both methods, both your um, meter meter line method and arc method. First, we'll move on to meter line method. Let me just write a text here. We'll first look into meter line method. Okay, meter line method. So what we'll be doing in meter line method? We'll be drawing a line at an angle 45 degrees from the intersection of x1, y1 line and x, y line. Okay. x1, y1 line and x, y line. Line, take a line command and that thickness also should be 0.05. Okay. Most of the times we'll be using 0 0.05 for thin lines. Okay. Enter 0 0.05 and press enter. Press enter. Now, I want exactly this point. Not to get this exact this point, you can see that uh, we'll, it, the intersection symbol is visible. Now to make sure the intersection symbol is visible to you, this option must be turned on. Intersection from Intel Sketch Toolbar. Okay. If I turn this off, if I move your cursor here, it will only show this symbol. That is on the line symbol on the element. It recognizes a point on along an element. Okay. See, it's very difficult. You will not get it only. If I turn this on. If I just come here. See, and then I come here and then I'll come here. So both the lines get are getting active. Both the lines are turned red in color. Okay, red in color. See, and then from this point, just draw a line of any length. Okay, don't worry about the length. Okay, of any length. Let me just come here, check with the thickness, which should be 0 0.05. Okay, don't worry about the length, just press tab angle here you are supposed to enter it as how much 
how much so if i come i say see here if i move my line like this see the angle it is from positive if i move my line in clock anti clockwise direction see angle is increasing in positive direction okay positive direction okay and if i go similarly in clockwise direction all the values will be negative all the values will be negative so whenever you are entering the angle here you have to enter minus 135 okay minus 135 press enter it will come here if you enter minus or third minus 45 it will come here okay now again it will ask you the length once you enter the angle okay the angle is not changing now it will only ask you what should be the length of the line okay don't worry about the length length is not important for us just place it just it should be more than this okay more than this just place your line here then just right click okay now you have to indicate the angle also here not to indicate the angle you have to use angle between okay angle between dimensions the angle between elements okay. so angle between is used to give the dimension angles between the elements just place the angle here just select two elements okay and place the angle then just press enter okay. don't change the angle okay now again i'll take a line command so what we did in the uh, front side now to draw the side view from this top view from this point c there is a end point symbol this end point symbol Okay, recognizes the end point of an element. So from here, I will just draw a horizontal line. You can see one horizontal line is indicating there. This line, okay, this one. It should be either horizontal or vertical. If it is like this, it will show you the vertical symbol. If it is like this, it will show you a horizontal symbol. Let me just draw a line till only this line, okay, till only this line. And then from here, I will just draw a line just here. I will not draw. Extra. Uh, line till here. I'll just draw only till this point. I'll just here. If I just come here, not click it. I'll just move my cursor like this. You can see a small dotted line there. Okay, small dots there. Okay, small dots. Is it visible to you? Small dots. So it is a, just a reference. Just go. Don't click. Okay. Just bring your cursor near to this. Okay, that will take us as a reference and just come here like this. Okay. And just place a line here. Okay. After this, from this point, draw a line till this. Okay. So intersection of this two will give you side view. So you have to place a point over here. Okay. That will indicate your side view. Okay. Take a point. Change the thickness to two mm. Okay. Enter and place a point here. Place a point here. And indicate. Indicate it as a double dash okay a double dash so this is your problem so it is not complete yet okay it is not complete yet why it is not complete can you tell me why it is not complete there is something else which has to be shown here before this complete problem is over what is that what is that yes so you should show directions of projection. In order to obtain this yeah. a double dash, you have to show the directions. So I have drawn a line from here to here, from right to left, then from bottom to top, and this from uh, left right to left. So in order to show that, so in order to show the arrow marks, there is a option called leader, okay, which I discussed during uh, this one, dimensions, different dimensioning elements. So there is a leader command here, okay, creates a leader between element that is nothing but will show the arrow mark directions of projection so you have to click on this then just then just come here okay come click here now once you click on that line it will ask you how is the direction you can see it has a head and a tail and okay? this is a tail and this is a head okay and i'll ask you where to place it how to place it once you click on this line it will ask you where to place it and how to place it whether it is in the right direction a left direction or it is it is in right direction so we have drawn the line to the left okay so place a arrow mark like this okay similarly you just come here place an arrow mark like this just come here place an arrow mark like this with okay, this complete problem okay and at the last before problem is over at the bottom corner here you are supposed to write all You're supposed to write here, Alt 
dimensions are in mm without fail okay that's fail getting it the yeah. all dimensions are in mm okay so this is metre line method okay now i'll show you using arc method okay let me just copy this okay and i'll just copy this in the next slide okay and i'll just delete this part i'll just delete this part i'll just delete this line let me keep this as it is okay this line length won't change let me just delete let me keep this also now in order to use arc method let me just change here also if i double click on this see if i want to edit this if i just double click on this it will go to edit mode you can see a box is created here okay just place a cursor here just use your uh, arrow mark on your keyboard you can see arrow mark is moving there okay cursor is moving there just press backspace and write arc method okay arc method just click outside once you type click outside it will change okay now in arc method again from this point let me just change the thickness to 0.05 we just change the thickness to 0 0.05 then draw a line till here okay till here now in order to draw an arc so we'll be using one more new command here which we'll be discussing in order to draw an arc okay like you use your compass okay we'll be using arc by center point okay arc by center point in order to draw an arc over here okay in order to draw an arc over here let us use arc by center point now with this as a center okay just click here yeah, this is your center. Now, just see here. If I go and select this command, arc by center point, at the uh, left bottom corner, click for the center point of the arc. It will give you the command here. Now, click for the center. This is the center. Now, it will ask you the radius. Okay, It will ask you the radius. Just click here. Okay, Just click here. I didn't able, I was not able to click it properly. Just make sure you exactly get it, this end point symbol. Then only you click the second point. Okay, click the start point of an arc. Click the start point of an arc. Just click see the endpoint symbol. You should get that endpoint symbol there. Once you get that endpoint symbol, just draw an arc. Then click for the end point of an arc. Click for the end point of an arc. Draw it till here. And draw it till here. This is how you do it. Okay, this is how you do it. Got it? Are you getting it? What I'm doing? Are you getting at what I'm doing? Yes. After that, just draw a vertical line. Till here. Now you can see I'm not changing this line. Okay. You are getting at the same location by using both the methods. The position of this ID view okay, won't change. Let me just place a point again here. Okay. Let me just change the thickness to 2 mm and just place a point. Okay, and let me name it as a double dash. A double dash, and let me complete it by showing the directions. And then by showing the directions, just take a later command. It is present in the annotation toolbar. Okay, let us take our later command. One I'll place it here. The other one I have to place it in the arc also on the arc also. So while placing it on the arc, make sure this tail must be very small. Okay, even if it is not visible to you, it's okay. If you place a tail longer, you can see what is happening. Okay, you just place it like this here You're within the arc. You just you use your middle mouse button, scroll up and down, it will zoom. Just place it like this here. Okay, like this. The tail is not visible. Okay, tail is not visible. So this completes your problem. So this is how you do a uh, side view using meter line method and arc method. Okay, you can see the position is completely same. Okay, we just uh, you can see this position. If I want to verify it, I just go here. Distance between this distance, if I want to check if it is 20 here, here also you should have the same distance. Okay, same distance, just 20 here. Okay, 20 here. Is it clear how to do projection of points using the software? Okay. Those who have uh, computers at their homes, I have shared the software with you along with how to install it. 
okay a video is there five minute video is there you know how to install the software you can download it okay and start practicing in homes okay start practicing getting it is it clear is this clear now we'll move on to the next topic that is projection of planes we'll be coming to the main topic now the okay, projection of planes is it clear to everyone is it clear to everyone is it clear you cannot see your message is typed here yes sir okay so i have to come back and check here okay it's better to tell me let me just close this okay magnifier so we are done with this let me just close this let me just press control s because i'm using the same file okay which i used it last time okay? in the same file i'm i've done this i just press control s you need to again go here and press save as okay if you press save as last to another new name i am there in the same folder so when you uh, save it when you come for the next lab right you try i'm not trying to save it make sure you are in the same folder if you are not on the same folder you have to go to your folder then save your file okay but if you are using the same file which you used last time just press control s it will be there in that folder only okay let me just close this and uh, let me come back to next topic that is projection of planes Okay, projection of planes. You can take down along with uh, when I'm explaining it to you. You can just take down this as well. Okay, what is a plane? It's also called as lamina. Okay, it's also called as lamina, or it is also called as plane. Any surface having only two dimension, that is x and y. Z dimension is completely negligible. Length and width, your thickness is completely negligible. That is nothing but your plane. Or a lamina, okay? Plane or a lamina. For example, a plane or lamina is your blackboard. Okay? When you compare the length and width, uh, length and height of your uh, blackboard, okay? Thickness is hardly negligible. Okay? Even if it is there, it is negligible. Okay? Those are nothing but your plane surfaces, planes. Okay? Or they are also called as laminas. Okay? They are also called as laminas. The plane surfaces may have straight edges or curvatures. Okay? example of plane surface plane surfaces a uh, thin triangular plate pentagonal plate hexagonal plate octagonal circle okay uh, semi circle elliptical okay these are all examples of uh, examples of plane surfaces okay you can take down this or else i'll just share this in the google classroom later on you can take it down or else you better take down now more than this your drawings are more important you yeah. know understanding this concept is only your only your concept drawings are more important okay understanding the draw, how to draw the projections is more important okay shall i move what is a plane a plane has any surface having only two dimension namely length or height a length or width with negligible thickness is called as a plane or a lamina examples are these are the examples okay practical examples are any uh, plane surface having negligible thickness is nothing called, is called as plane okay it is called as plane example your blackboard okay so these are different planes so you will be studying the projection of the triangular lamina you will be studying a projection of pentagonal lamina you will be studying projection of square rectangle hexagon and circle so these are different laminas you shall be studying okay whether my pace is okay or am i going fast elliptical semi elliptical okay and this you must know you must be knowing okay which we did in the previous one of the classes in the earlier classes So interior angle of a regular polygon with n sides. How to determine it? N minus two divided by n into one eighty will give you this interior angle. Okay, n minus two 
divided by n. n is nothing but number of sides. Okay, number of sides of polygon. If I take an example of a triangle here, so three minus two is one. One divided by three, that is one eighty by three is nothing but sixty. This is the equation or to obtain the uh, interior angle of a any polygon. Okay, any polygon, any regular polygon. Okay, you can just verify here. So uh, these are the laminas. Polygons, different polygons, uh, triangular, square, pentagon, and their interior angles: 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 108, and 120 degrees. You can just use this equation, as you can see. If I go to pentagon here, 5 minus 2, okay, is 3. 3 by 5 into 180, okay. 3 by 5 into 180. You can do that way also, or else there is one more way which I told you. What is that? What is that? In the previous class, I discussed how to find the interior angle. First, find the exterior angle. How to find exterior angle? 360 divided by number of sides. 360 by 5. Yeah, that is 72. 72 is the exterior angle. 180 minus 72 will give you interior angle. Yeah, interior angle. Okay. So one, you'll get this exterior angle here. Okay. When you would three, when you divide 360 by number of sides. Okay, 360 by n. If you do 1 minus 180 minus 72, you will get interior angle. You will get interior angle. So, this is hexagon. You can see triangle, exterior angle. Different types of uh, triangle, equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle. I hope you know what is equilateral triangle, what is isosceles triangle. Is it? What is right angle triangle, acute angle? I hope you will be more knowing it. So we'll be solving problems on equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and one right angle triangle. Okay, one not not right angle triangle. It is uh, your set square. Okay, for example, the best example of triangular plane is your set squares. Okay, one at 30 degree and 60 degree, another at 45 and 45 degrees. Okay. These are uh, then scale. This is not much important for you. Square, pentagon. I hope you know how to draw pentagon, uh, triangle, hexagon. Then um, uh, square as a rhombus, right? In the previous class, we discussed how to draw square as a rhombus. Okay. Pentagon. First, draw this line. Then go on drawing this using the angles. Hexagon. There are two ways. One is by Taking this angles, other is by directly drawing the circle. We'll see that uh, in the coming classes as we solve the problems on projection of uh, triangle, pentagon, so on. Okay. Is this clear? Now we'll move on to the main part that is your projections of these planes. Okay. Projection of these planes. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So before we move on to the next part, so see here, these are called as corners. Okay, these are called as edges or sides of a plane. Okay, edges or sides of a plane. Because those will be the questions, uh, options, sorry, sentences which will come, which will come in your question. Okay, we'll see that later. Okay? We'll move on to the next part. That is very main, main topic. Okay, projection of planes. In this topic, various plane figures are nothing but your objects, which we just saw. What is usually asked in the problem? So in order to you only these are asked. You have to draw front view, top view, and side view. Okay. So what will be given in the problem? Description of a plane figure will be given to you. Using that description, you have to draw the front view and top view. So its position of with respect to HP and with respect to horizontal plane and with respect to vertical plane will be given to you. With respect to horizontal plane and with respect to vertical plane will be given to you. Okay. So this is what will be given. Description of a plane figure. Okay, whether it is a triangle, whether it is pentagon, number of what is this length of a side, okay, all those things will be given. And what is the position of those with respect to horizontal plane and with respect to vertical plane will be given. Even in some cases with respect to profile plane, that is side left profile plane or right profile plane. Okay. Then, in which manner its position with the HP and VP will be described? Okay. 
Now we'll see the positions with respect to HP and BP. Okay, using uh, one more software called uh, Google SketchUp. Okay, and uh, let's see how the views will be with respect to each position. Okay? How the views will appear with respect to each position. Okay? So these are the different positions. It's better you take down this. We'll go through each of these positions using Google SketchUp. Okay, use Google SketchUp. Once we finish with this, then we'll start with the problems on projection of planes. Okay, yeah, projection of planes. Just take down a plane parallel to horizontal plane and perpendicular to vertical plane and profile plane. I'll explain you this with by by doing it. Okay, in front of you. Okay, just take down this now. A plane. So I'll just draw roughly. Uh, first, let me draw. You can take down. I'll just draw it roughly. The first case. Let me just draw the vertical plane and horizontal plane, all with respect to first quadrant. Okay, for each case, I'll draw, and I'll draw the plane also. Second case, I'll draw it here. Third case. Okay. Position of your plane with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane. Because with those as a friends, you will be trying the projections. Because vertical plane and horizontal plane are nothing but your plane of projections, where your uh, object is drawn. Okay, that's nothing but your screen. So all with respect to first angle projection. Huh? I'm trying because now we'll only concentrate on first angle. Okay. This I'll do it in front of you and show you how the positions, how the views look like. Okay, by taking a simple uh, plane object. Okay, by taking a simple plane object, I'll explain it to you. Okay. Now let me explain the first one here. Okay. Now let me just take a plane here. Okay. Let me just take a plane. I'll just take a was here. A plane parallel to HP and perpendicular to vertical plane and profile plane. So plane will be position will be like this. A plane position will be like this. A plane will be like this. It will be like this. Okay. So here it is parallel to it is parallel to horizontal plane and it is perpendicular to vertical plane as well as profile plane. So this is your first position. In this position, how your front view looks and how your top view looks. Front view is nothing but a straight line. Front view appears as a straight line, whereas top view you can see this complete rectangle. You can see this complete rectangle. Okay, you can see this complete rectangle. This is for first case position of first first position plane parallel to horizontal plane and perpendicular to vertical plane and profile plane. You can see this is a plane okay, which is parallel to horizontal plane, perpendicular to both these uh, vertical plane and profile plane. So front view will be a straight line, side view also will be a straight line. Okay, when you see it, and top view when you see it, top view when you see it, it will be a Exactly this shape of a rectangle. Okay, it means it means a true shape of the rectangle. A true shape of the rectangle. Now in the second case, plane parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP and PP. In order to have this, the plane will be like this. Okay, this is straight line.
see here now this plane this plane is parallel to vertical plane and perpendicular to horizontal plane as well as profile plane and as well as either right, right profile plane or left profile plane in this case front wing is a true shape of the plane exactly what is the shape of the plane that will appear as a front view whereas top view is just a straight line okay, i'll explain this with uh, exact uh, 3d images okay i'll do it in front of you and show it to you that is second this is second position in the third position it is parallel to profile plane so it is like this so in this case the third position parallel to profile plane and perpendicular to vertical plane and horizontal plane you can see if i draw a profile plane here if i draw a profile plane here okay you can see it is parallel to profile plane or as perpendicular to our vertical plane and horizontal plane so in this case your front view is and uh, top view are just a straight lines whereas your side view is a true shape of the lamina okay true shape of the lamina so this is position 3 and the next position position 4 plane inclined to horizontal plane perpendicular to vertical plane so if i take a plane like this i'll draw it like this it's very difficult let me draw with respect to each the next like plane now this is angle okay and this is inclined to vertical plane so inclined to vertical plane Okay. and this is inclined to both the planes so this is inclined to horizontal plane and this is inclination with respect to vertical plane purple colors are nothing but angles okay okay position number 4 plane inclined to horizontal plane perpendicular to vertical plane now you can see this plane is perpendicular to vertical plane but it is inclined to horizontal plane it is inclined to horizontal plane okay so this is your um fourth position so in this case your front view is a straight line but top view is not a true shape it is not a true shape it will be it is an apparent shape it is because it appears smaller okay it appears smaller why it appears smaller i'll just show you the 3d views okay in the fourth fifth case plane parallel inclined to vertical plane you can see it is inclined to vertical plane and perpendicular to horizontal plane in this case front view is an apparent shape top view is just a straight line okay and in the last case plane inclined to both hp and vp so both your front view and top view are apparent shapes okay apparent shapes so what we will be doing in problems is what you will be doing in problems is you will be either using this or this in one problem if you use this then this and this these three steps will come or else this this and this will come using three steps you will be drawing the projection of planes i will draw those two three steps i will show you with animations okay with animation also i have shown it with you uh, the one with the video which i shared with you okay those are the three steps in those three steps we will be drawing in 2d is this clear i will just show you uh, the first two position first two or three positions in google sketchup using google sketchup let me explain this to you once again okay i'll explain this to you using google sketchup 
Okay. Just remember these positions. And just remember these positions. Let me just move to the next slide. You can see a same example surface parallel to HP and uh, surface inclined to HP. Just one simple example. See, in this case, it is parallel to a horizontal plane and perpendicular to a vertical plane. Okay. In this case, it is inclined to a horizontal plane and perpendicular to a vertical plane. In this case, it is inclined to vertical plane and perpendicular to horizontal plane. So this is your front view. Just appears as a straight line on the vertical plane. Okay, you see here. Front view. Okay. Top view. With animations, you can clearly visualize. Okay. Top view is nothing but true shape. Whatever is the shape here that appears here on horizontal plane. Okay. True shape of the uh, this lamina. Okay. Top view. Second case, front view, a straight line, but it is inclined to horizontal plane. Okay. Top view. It appears smaller. Okay, it will not exactly not same as this. Okay, so it is exactly not same as it. It appears smaller. Top view and here front view appears like this, and top view appears uh, like this. See, in this case, it is inclined to both the planes. Okay, it is inclined to both horizontal plane and vertical plane. Okay, the, this third one. Okay, that's why both front view and top view are uh, apparent shapes. Okay, see here, this is true shape. This is apparent shape. And these are your both apparent shapes. So this three in this three steps we'll be doing it. Okay, you can see here top view, true shape, front view, just the line parallel to x y line, parallel to x y line, just you are getting a line. Okay, just here. Okay, it is denoted by like this. Okay. Notations. These are the notations in two D plane. These are all these are all given in three D here. This is how it is drawn in two D. Okay. This is front view and this is top view. Then second position inclined to x y line. Okay, inclined to x y line front view. Top view is a reduced shape or apparent shape. Okay, see a reduced shape. This is how it is drawn. We'll go this uh, draw this step by step later on. Just know the concept now. Last one front view apparent shape. Top view previous shape. Top view previous shape is whatever shape is here that will you will get it here, but it will be inclined to a uh, vertical plane. Okay. You can see this is your apparent shape. This is also apparent shape, but same as this. Okay, this and this shape are same. Okay, and as well as this and this shape are also same. But here it is parallel to x y line. But here it is inclined to x y line. Okay, here it is inclined to x y line. Position A, B, and C. Let me just explain this. This only, not this. All these positions. I'll explain all these positions uh, using Google Sketchup. Okay. Let me just minimize this. Minimize this. Let me come here. So this Google Sketchup is freely available to you. You can use it in your Google uh, account only. Okay. I'm directly using it online. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, show it to you. I'm not telling you the procedure here. I'm just showing you the process. Okay, what I've done is I've just drawn the text here. Yeah, text, text, text. Okay. 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 Where did the text go, man? Yeah, text is here. Okay, let me just write down horizontal plane. Okay. Let me just press OK and let me just place here. Okay, this is your horizontal plane. Okay, and let me just write one more vertical plane. So this is your vertical plane. So when I see the front view and top view, okay. Yeah, see here. Okay. 
so this is your front view yeah you can see only vertical plane is visible to you you can see vertical plane and i go to top view see it is like this so this is your front view this is your top view okay let me just come to isometric view now now let me just take one more plane here let me just try it i just rectangle here okay and let me just select this and let me make it as a group let me just move it It should be moving, it is not moving. I don't know why it is not moving. Yeah, it is moved now. Okay. What I'll do is uh, just get this part and just move this plane a little bit here. Just move this plane. Don't worry about how this has come. And just let me just scale this a little. Okay. And let me just copy this. And let me move all of this. I'm just creating a copy of this. Okay. Now this is your first position. Let me just change the color of this. Yeah. A little better color. Where are the options? View list. Getting loaded. Let me just take a. Uh, these colors, different colors. Let me just take the suspend color. Let me just place it here. Let me just place here also. Okay. Now, so this is your first case. What is the first case here? Plane parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP and profile plane. Let me draw the profile plane as well. Let me draw the profile plane. I'll just draw one profile plane here. That's it's not free. Yeah, profile plane. Okay. So this is your uh let me just go to text and write here, write profile plane. And just place it here. On this. Okay. Now how does this front view and top view appear with respect to this? Okay. Let me just come here. Now we'll see how your front view will be. When I see this front view, let me just come to this. See how the front view is. It's just a straight line which is on vertical plane. Okay, this is how it is. And I see the top view. You will get the. You will see the pro shape of the plane. Okay. And when I see the side view, it's also a straight line. But this is smaller. This is uh, one side of the rectangle. And uh, this is your 
other side of the rectangle other side of the rectangle this is one position getting it so this is your first position a plane parallel to horizontal plane and perpendicular to vertical plane and profile plane that's what i've done here okay, this same thing i've created here okay you can see this plane plane surface is parallel to this horizontal plane and perpendicular you can see here when i come here you can see it is perpendicular to it's perpendicular to uh, your uh, vertical plane perpendicular here and i see the front view it is perpendicular here okay this perpendicular the perpendicular this with respect to profile plane this is your first position in the first position we collect a consider not beside you only front view and the uh, top view front view is a straight line top view is a true shape of the plane true shape of the plane or true shape of the lamina this is your first position okay let me just copy this let me come here paste it let me just place that here let me just scale it down let me just move that here that is your first position Yeah. Yeah. I see this front view again par plane parallel to horizontal plane and perpendicular to profile plane. Okay, this is your first position. Let me, let me, let me just let me scale it more. This is your first position. This is your first position. Is this clear? First position. Is this first position clear? I'll explain you the second position as well. Then the remaining positions we'll see this in the next class. Okay. Let me just uh, select this. Use no command. do with that also okay. right profile plane now what i'll do is i'll just uh, make this the second position plane parallel to i just copy this also there Only worried about this. I'm unable to edit it. Just delete this. Come here, copy this. Come to here, text, paste this here, place it, place it here. Let me just scale this down. It's fine. Plane perpendicular parallel to vertical plane. How will I make this parallel to vertical plane? The same plane. What I'll do is I'll just select this. I'll use uh, rotate command. I'll just place it like this first. Then I'll move it a little down. Okay. I'll just rotate this again so that is perpendicular to sorry parallel to what it is in. now 
of C. In this case, it is parallel to vertical plane and perpendicular to horizontal plane and profile plane. Now, in this case, how your front view and top view will appear? Front view will be your true shape of the lamina. You can see the front view is true shape. Top view is just a straight line. Okay, this one and side view is I have to hide this. Okay, side view is this line. Okay, side view is this line. Getting it double appear here. This is your first two positions. I'll explain the other positions in the next class. Okay. Other positions in the next class. <coughs> Sorry. Hope this is clear. These positions. Hope it is clear. Construction of rhombus of side 50 mm. First horizontal line is drawn. Then a line at 45 degrees. Then I'll cut an arc at 50 mm here. Okay. Then I'll cut an arc over here. Then I'll join this line. Okay. After that, here, cut an arc from this point 50 mm from here 50 mm. Then join those two. That is how you draw a rhombus. Okay. Got it. This is one. And just go through this video. Before coming for the next class, it's better you go through this. Uh, these two videos, okay, which I'll share with you. This is complete uh, video with projection lines. Okay, this is with projection lines. Just go through those. You can see here. Okay, and here plane is parallel to horizontal plane. Okay, parallel to horizontal plane. I've given the notations also A, B, and C for that. Okay, so this is your top view. Okay, see how it is drawn. Projection. Okay, these are your projection lines. Okay, this is how it is not. These are the notations. Okay, but when you see the subject from this side, right, front view, this A is visible to you and C is hidden to you. That's why C is written in brackets here. Okay, C dash. This is your top view, you know, by A, B, and C, and this is your front view, A dash, C dash, and this is B dash. Okay, here. This is how it is. Uh, next one, incline. Okay. With animation also by using another software I had uh, the other one okay so this is second position this is first position this is second position this is all you're doing this is your front view and this is top in second position okay and just go through this okay? and this is our final position so in the second position it is only inclined to HP in the third position it is inclined to HP as well as PP okay PP D is nothing but degree okay let's see these are the final positions, okay? All three positions. This is top view, first position, second position, and the third position. And this is front view, first, second, and third position. This is what we'll be doing in 2D, okay? okay. This is how you I'll get it in 2D. Sorry. Okay. It's very tiny. Yeah, this is how we'll get it in 2D, okay? This is how we'll get it in 2D. And this is what we exactly will be drawing it in your books. Okay. In your books, you will be drawing it in this fashion. Okay. That is the first problem which we will be doing. This is the first problem which we will be doing in the class. Okay. Let's go through this video as well as uh, the other one. This one. Okay. This has been uh, with animation, it is clearly given to you. Let me just play it once again here. There's no harm in it because most of you are here. Let's see how it is. So this is how we'll be doing. Okay. Let's see. Position. Now we'll be rotated that rotated with respect to horizontal plane. Okay. Rotated with respect to horizontal plane. Okay, this is how it looks. Your front view and top view in first position and second position. Third position. Now I'll see it is rotating with respect to vertical plane. Angle. Angle with respect to vertical plane. Here with with respect to horizontal plane. Now here it is with respect to vertical plane. 30 degrees. Okay. And this is how we, this is how they look. Front view, this is top. This is front view, and this is top view. All three positions: first, second, and third. Okay. 